So I'm just down tidying up the chaos on the boat and I just thought I'd go check up on uh, Dominic and Hank and Sonny. Sunny, 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 where does Sonny come from? Sunny. And um, here, look at this. We're having a little snooze together. Hank's down here snoozing. So just try calling um, the RSPCA, but uh, there's it goes through to a voicemail saying they're only taking calls um, for animals that are in critical danger, basically. I mean, if we let Sonny go, I'd imagine he'd be in critical danger. He would be. Um, I want to see. There must be. Uh, let's try the wildlife ambulance. Okay. Wildlife. I know they're down in East. They might, again, they Sussex, might know someone, call might, someone yeah, see if they know anyone down there. Yeah, Cornwall Wildlife Trust. Right, let's give them a let's go. Let's give them a call. How hard can it be to find someone Welcome to, to pick up a... Welcome to Cornwall Wildlife Trust. Homes are temporarily closed in response to government guidelines to reduce oh, the spread of the coronavirus. All staff are working at home, however, and can pick up both voicemail messages and emails. If you know the current extension number, you can dial it now. Other options are, for all membership matters, please press 2. For all the wildlife information service, we'll be stuck for three. So I guess due to COVID, it's uh, it's trickier to find someone to come and rescue wildlife than, um, than it would normally be. I thought it'd be easier. I thought there'd be people all over the place that just come and pick them up and foster them or put them back in the nest or, I don't know, something. He's only a few weeks old. He's so vulnerable. I mean, I would say that is critical. Just crossed over the river again to go. We're heading to a place called Atlantic Coast. This is definitely somewhere you can get to on the boat and you can anchor there if you wish. But we're gonna take Hank for a walk, stretch our legs, and uh, hopefully catch a little bit of lunch. But let's go check out more of the, uh, the treasures that Foy's got to offer. Feather. Uh-huh. You're down. hike so make sure you've got some good footwear on some bottle of water and some batteries in the old pacemaker wow sunstroke it's okay Hick. look at that I'll put him in the shade and you're leaving
the birds can't get them either. Okay. Can I? I'll pull you down a little bit. Yeah. You go for a swim, mate? Yeah. Alright, let's get him down then. Let's go for a swim. Can't wait to see this. Shout out to Harbour Hounds. Somewhere in the shade for you, mate. Hello. One of the things we covered quite extensively on our on our doggy first aid course was heat stroke. So just keep an eye on Hank's gums. If they go too red, that could be indicative that he's um, starting to get too hot. So just create a little space in the shade, give him lots to drink, and uh, take him in the sea to cool down and and never go anywhere now without. We've packed our little first aid kit, yeah. which is super handy. Yeah. We've added some extras in there. You are beach safe. And, and, it, and again, you know, Hank is a ginger, and the reality is that going out in daylight as a ginger, you're you're basically playing Russian roulette anyway. So we've got to keep an eye on it. Ready? So while Kylie and Hank chill out on the beach in what feels like our own private super secluded beach, I'm going to take this little bad boy down to the down to the shore, see if I can catch some lunch. Bass catcher. I'll tell you what, these lures, right? They're not they're not the cheapest. In fact, they're probably one of the most expensive jelly uh, lures that I own. But my God, do they catch fish! They've caught me, I've probably caught over a hundred bass on this thing. If you're interested to know exactly the make and model and the brand of this, um, I just bought them on Amazon. In fact, I bought them about 10 times. I bought all different sizes, but I'll pop the link in the description. Go check them out. I think this one is a 10 gram. It might be a 12 gram, but I've got a whole bunch of different size uh, lures and uh, go see for yourself. Well, I've gone for the more natural colors, but um, they've got some more funky ones as well, but I like this. I think that looks like a real, you know, as close to a real thing as possible, so let's go see if I can catch something. I've just seen Carly in my peripheral vision whilst I was fishing, gesturing excitedly. I didn't know if she was something was wrong. She's, so you can see it now, she's calling me up here. So there's something exciting going on. Don't know what it is. Let's have a look. How cool is that? <laughs> it's like nature's very own. That's really cool. <laughs> wow. New den for Stephen. Thanks to um, Butternut uh, Dog Food who provide these great boxes with insulation. Yeah, super. <laughs> so. so now he can go in there, he can chill, and hopefully he'll be a little bit more protected from the element. And you know, because he, he's hiding, he keeps hiding behind the, the mast. I say hiding, but he seems to be comfortable. He's got like little areas that he can take shelter in here. So we think maybe if we. Should we That's give where it, we're going to put the box. Should, and we, I think... should we put the box up there and see how yeah. he likes it? 
<laughs> hey, Stephen. We made a little base for you. You want to check it out? I'm just going to get it past the front. Okay. I think you're going to like it. Hank practicing uh, his bird slaughter. Seems like an inappropriate time to do it, mate. You've got you've got like 20 toys. 20 toys. You could have played with a football. You could have played with a rope. You could have played with a bear. Chick anything. Maybe not chicken. But instead, you decided to bring a duck out here and practice murdering it in front of uh, Stephen. I think that's pretty unthought. <laughs> I think that's pretty unkind of you, mate. It's pretty <laughs> savage. It's pretty savage. It opens into the. What if we move this a little bit? Like that? It's definitely an upgrade on the previous sort of shanty shack you lived in. When I worked at the architect studio, one of my favourite days is when we had to go and um, we had to go and build like a basically a fabric camp, um, and then we decorated it. And it was the best. <laughs> Be good. That insulation will keep him warm. I hope so. Oh, he's, he's picking it all up. See, there was no point putting newspaper down because he's already tearing it apart. <laughs> let's give him a little space to get out. So let's see if Stephen likes his new home. <laughs> okay, so a quick interjection before we find out what's happened to Stephen, uh, because we've got some thank yous to do, and a lot of them this week. We've got eight new patrons uh, since the last video. So I want to say a thank you to. It's okay, we've written them down. You don't have to hide it. We've, we've written them down. <laughs> I thought we could maybe cut there and then... No, 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 no let's just... We're going to read, okay. read, read them out. Will Douglas, Jeff Halley, David Stanton and Christine Shea. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Brian Ford, uh, to Patrick Roman and James Scurlock. And last, but most certainly not least, in fact, this is a very, very special thank you to Lucy Burnley. Uh, and Lucy, you and your husband, Roger, are absolute mega... In fact... In fact um, after watching uh, after watching our last video where we I I tragically lost our drone which is arguably my favorite camera to shoot on and the only one I've got half a clue what I'm doing um, they very kindly sent us their old drone which is remarkable it's better than our old drone. this is an amazing this is an amazingly amazingly generous okay. gift he um, like Hank it. hates the drone, so I didn't have it on, on the then. table for the most time. He can leave. Um, oh. But yeah, so yeah, they very kindly sent us this, which is a Mavic 2 Pro. I'm just, my mind is blown, and it's it's not it's not often I'm lost for words. So guys, seriously, it's it's beyond generous. It's really too much, M more than we would have ever asked for. It's mm. amazing, but thank you. And uh, I sincerely hope that you enjoy the crazy amount of drone footage I'm going to film with it in the future. <laughs> everything's going to be, be drone footage. We're going to go to Sainsbury's and we're going to be we're going to be on the drone in Sainsbury. We're going to drone shoot everything, but it's going to be uh, amazing quality. This is a really great bit of kit. I really do appreciate it, and um, I hope you in turn enjoy the footage that you see for hopefully many more videos to come. So thank you again. Yes. So I guess we should find out what happens to Stephen. Let's find out what happens to Stephen. I would also get Hank out of the shower. <laughs> I think actually before we go, should we should we show what Hank does when he gets so when, scared? So when Hank gets scared, he's scared of the drone, or if Carly gets angry. Um, <laughs> yeah, because that happens a lot. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry mate, I'm not going to fly the drone. It's a false alarm. It's a false alarm, there's no drone flying going on, you can get up. This is Hank's safe space. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Hank's okay, mate. No drone flying is going to happen. Okay? Wide open spaces only. We know what happened last time. <laughs> alright, alright, we're going to get. Let's get back to Stephen. Let's see yeah. how he gets on. Okay. So I just picked up the bowl to move out of the way and he came running towards it and then I put my GT down. He, he, he likes a bit of GT. You're off to GT, are you? <laughs> it's pop, it's pop. He wants my cucumber. Oh, it's not for you, mate. Oh, should we, we? Should I get him a bit of cucumber before we go? No. Uh, so just, I think our time, our time with Stephen here is now coming to an end. I uh, just got off the phone to the RSPCA. 
Uh, for those of you not from England, uh, the RSPCA is the Royal Society for the Protection of Animals, and they will take him in, bring him up, release him into the wild, and make sure that he's fitting well. So he's had a few days with us. We, we found him on Sunday night. It's now Wednesday evening. Um, he's had a good stint with us. He's, he's had plenty of food. He's pooed absolutely everywhere. Um, he's, you know, he's in good spirits. He's fit. He's well. He's a little character, but he, he can't come anymore. <laughs> Now that it's come to an end, I feel really sad. Do you? Yeah, as much as he makes a mess. On some he's, level. He's a little character, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he just go for you. No, no, he's a cucumber. Um. I gave him a tiny bit of cucumber. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, the RSPCA man's going to be here in 10 minutes, so All we're right. going to need to get him in his box. Look at him, yeah, just strolling around like he owns the place. <laughs> right, I'm going to un... All right, you want to sort his house out for him? Yeah, pack his house down. <laughs> Stephen's like, what are you doing with my house? Are you going to get in your house? Because we need to take go on, you. Then. Go on, in you get. In you get, in you get. Good, Good boy. boy. All right, so we're going to... Yeah, but close him up. Yeah. It's a bit soggy. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> all right, he's hungry. He's really he hungry. hungry. Well, we'll let the guy know he's only had two meals today. Yeah, it's OK. Look. Stephen. I'm not Howdy. You've come to the rescue. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me just sort my van out. He's chilling. He normally eats quite a lot, but we've run, out, we've run out of cat food. He's only had two meals today. Yeah, he's very hungry at the minute. He keeps the yeah, yeah, if you put your hand anywhere near him, he's, 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 he's on the hunt for some food, so. What? I'll let you handle him. Where'd you find him? Um, church, just by church the church on there. He, he was down like the bottom of gutter like that, but there was no ledges nearby oh. or... No, I say no parents. The only thing that was nearby was a cat. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, bye, Stephen. See you later, oh. mate. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Is he all healthy? He looks in good neck. Yeah. Come on, mate. Aww. All right. Come on, mate. Any way of knowing if it's a boy or a girl? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. No, we couldn't yeah. figure it out either. It's just crap down the trousers. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Occupational hazard, I guess. Steve's gone. You're sad now. Not a bit. It's for the best. I know. I know. We wouldn't have been able to. But he'll have friends, and that's what we, the one thing we were upset about that he didn't have any bird friends. This is true. So now he gets he's going to hang get, around with his own colony. He's going to have his own colony. They will get released at the same time. They're going to have an amazing colony and loads of friends. <laughs> he's going to go on to mate and make little Stevens. Exactly. He's going to steal everyone's chips. Perfect, <laughs> per perfect ending. Yeah. <laughs>